Hello, my name is Clay. Welcome to my channel. I just wanted to put out a little video uh, discussing the whole Venji Kuznetsov situation. If you haven't heard, there's a picture and video making waves on social media right now showing Venji Kuznetsov in a Las Vegas hotel room summer of 2018 after the Washington Capitals won the Stanley Cup with what appears to be lines of cocaine on the table in front of him. Now, a couple things here. There's actually no evidence that he was using cocaine like the video doesn't show him snorting or whatever this isn't tony montana in scarface all right he's also come out and said that he didn't do it and that you know he'd be willing to do a drug test now to prove it although that makes zero sense because number one this happened last summer and cocaine is one of the quicker drugs to pass through a system so doing a drug test now wouldn't really help so here's the thing there's no evidence of him doing it, but, uh, you know, you'd be kind of ignorant to just straight up believe him because there's reasons for him to lie in this situation. Fact of the matter is, I don't really care. It doesn't matter to me whether or not he did this drug. Quite simply, it's just not a good look for the NHL. Here's the thing. He's not the first guy to get caught with cocaine, he won't be the last NHL player to get caught with cocaine. It's pretty widely known and accepted that cocaine and recreational drugs in general are pretty prevalent in the history of the NHL. Um, the thing is, the NHL doesn't test for recreational drugs. They don't suspend players because of it. Unlike other leagues like the NFL, the NHL deals with it internally, in private. So if players are using drugs or having issues with cocaine, marijuana, recreational drugs in general, alcohol, whatever it may be, they will quietly try to help them get better. And sometimes we don't even know. So there's more players that you may even think of that's probably been doing stuff like this. I'm not saying it's good, but it's something to think about. So what I'm really trying to say with this video is, as fans, as media, let's not be so quick to judge a book by its cover. A situation like this where it doesn't actually show them using cocaine, but still, you know, it's not a good look. Let's try and, instead of berating the player or the league, let's try and offer support. Let's say, you know what, hey, Come on, think a little bit better. Because the fact of the matter is, even if we wanted to really harp on Kuznetsov and say, what an idiot, he should never have done this, I would have never have done this. Do you know that for sure? Because last time I checked, I'm not a rich, successful, professional athlete who has just won the Stanley Cup and achieved a lifelong uh, goal. I will never be in his shoes. I could not say with certainty that I wouldn't be in that situation. Those lines on the table in front of him might not even be for him. Might be for somebody else on the team. A friend. Who knows? Who knows? But it could be for him. So, let's try and not be too negative about this situation. Let's try and... Like I said, offer support. Let's be positive. Let's say, hey, Kuznetsov, we're on your side, but let's try and be better at this whole social media thing because it's tough right now. This day and age when everything is recorded, um, you're an idol to kids, whether you like it or not. Whether it's right or wrong for professional athletes to be idols for kids, they are. And you don't really want them you know, picking up these types of habits. Because even though, even though cocaine is, you know, or may not be taboo or legal in other parts of the world, it certainly is here. Uh, even though Vegas is probably the most legal place to do cocaine in the United States, it's an illegal drug. It's not regarded as a good thing. And quite frankly, drugs inherently aren't really all that great. They have their pros, 
but they have really bad cons. The pros obviously are getting high part, right? The state of nirvana that you feel, this heightened senses, right? Um, the problem is with drugs, and, and alcohol is included with this, is if you're not careful, you do too much, you know, you you stray from moderation, that's when the addiction comes into play, and that's also where the deadly consequences come into play. Um, and that's not a road we want anybody to go down. And that's why we really need to be careful with these sorts of things. Whether or not you think cocaine or marijuana or any other drug is a good or bad thing. We need to realize that it can be bad if used improperly. But let's not go judging people who are doing it. Let's try and help them. If they need to use it for whatever reason, let's try and help them do it safely in a way that doesn't harm them, doesn't harm the people around them, doesn't harm us as a community. That's all I'm trying to say. That's all I wanted to really put out for this video. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on this situation. Leave them down in the comments section below. Like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate that as always, but most importantly, stay safe, make good decisions, and I'll see you next time.